sin. There are four kinds of sin. Number one is in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. We have foreseen also that we are encompassed with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. The first category of sin is besetting sins. Besetting sin is the sin that even if you try, you keep falling into it. Besetting sin is that sin that has kept you in a trap. Is that sin that Paul was talking about in Romans chapter 7, that that which I don't want to do is what I do. Besetting sins are sins that have overpowered you. We are going to pray today. Oh God, deliver me from besetting sins. The sins I keep seeing myself falling into despite my, 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 my resilience, despite my, you know, refuser, seeming refuser, deliver me, O oh Lord, from besetting sin. Besetting sin comes upon people and sometimes they break down in tears that this is not the life they want to live. Besetting sin. The second sin we are going to pray now i think we'll take this before we take is naturally psalm 19 verse 13 but there's something verse 12 but let's do verse 13 verse 13 of psalm chapter 19 psalm 19 13 keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin let them not have dominion over me then shall i be upright and i shall be innocent from the great transgression the second is presumptuous sin. Presumptuous sins are willful sins. Willful. Deliberate. The kind of sins that people commit, you see somebody who is lecturing an institution, knows it is wrong to collect money from students, but needs to do it to survive. Willful. It's the kind of sin that you know it is wrong, but you need to do it to survive because there are benefits you think are attached to it so you deliberately willful you open your eyes and you do it are you what i'm talking about willful sins the first is what is what besetting the second is willful presumptuous or willful sin you will pray willful sin you can never overcome it when you keep focusing on the benefit it has to offer. You focus on the benefit and the privileges you stand to enjoy. Oh God, deliver me from presumptuous sin. He said, Dili, keep thy servant. Let these sins not have dominion over you. Because the ultimate purpose and sole aim of this sin is to dominate and control you. You are seeing it, you know it's wrong, but if you don't do it, you can't survive. You are seeing it, you know it's wrong, you know it's like somebody, you have to lie, you have to forge a certificate to get a job. Employment, you deliberately re reduce your age. You know it is wrong, but you needed to do it to get that job. God says, hellfire is waiting. You deliberately had to write 7 a.m. and you came to work 8 30 is your normal lifestyle because if you don't do that you may lose the job or you may you may get a query oh lord arise deliver me from presumptuous sin give me the baptism of conscience it takes conscience being alive to overcome presumptuous sin In verse 12, verse 12, he said, who can understand his errors? Who can? Nobody can. He says, cleanse thou me from secret faults. The third kind of sin is secret sin. 
the sin nobody knows about. The sin that when it's blown open, people will be shocked. The sin that you have a very big position in the church, but you are still involved in it. Secret sin. Secret sin was what destroyed Achan. Achan collected their costings. After collecting their costings, the Bible said that you'll be so shocked to hear some people in church who visit herbalists. Eh? You will be shocked. Some people in church who still come out of church on Sunday and on Monday they are going to the office, they have a charm they are wearing on their waist. You need to cry to God. Lord, help me. I need your mercy. When secret sin came, when God wants to judge a sinner, God gives him the wages of sin, the salary of sin, and God, those around him that knew about it and said nothing, God give them the benefit and bonus. The man who commits it get the wages. Those who are aware and said nothing get the bonuses and the fringe benefits. Amen. So we are going to pray, Lord, enter my life. Any secret sin in my life father help me to overcome it conscious secret sin unconscious secret sin what i know about the one that is unconscious the one that is conscious empower me to overcome it The fourth we are going to handle is in Proverbs 28 13. Proverbs 28 13. He that covereth a sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Whoso confesseth, the fourth is covered sins. Covered sins are the sins after being committed. You employ human strategy to make sure it is not found. There are people that will steal money. That sin, they will change record, falsify record. That's covered sin. One day I was praying, the Lord told me, he said, when David fell into sin with Bathsheba, I was angry. But I was provoked when he killed Uriah to cover it. Now, anytime God talks about David, he will say, David, a man after God's heart, except that he killed Uriah. He doesn't talk about Bathsheba. Except the sin that he killed Uriah. So God was more angry at his covering up. Moses sinned when Moses killed an Egyptian. The Bible says he looked left, he looked right, hey, and buried the Egyptian in the sand. He forgot to look up. He looked left. He, nobody there. He looked right. Why not look up? Next time when you want to steal, look left, or look right, look left, and the Bible says his eyes run it. God's eyes is sharp. Many of us, we have gone ahead to cover. We didn't just do it. We employed measure. There are people that will do things and they will pay people to help them lie. See, 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 you will say, you will say, and what happened? You will say, you will say, God said, oh, I'm not angry at what you did, even though it offended me. But I'm more angry that you are trying to cover. Have you not seen people telling people, when they ask you, eh? when they ask you, they, God said, this action you are doing now, I am more provoked than the mistake you made. See, in case, in case they ask you, eh, this is what you are going to say. Later, I will explain to you. Yeah. And the way people do cover sin is because they are trying to protect their ego. Covered sin. The height of pride is covered sin. You are trying to protect your ego. Nobody must know. They must not find out. And the truth is this. Whenever God wants to handle covered sin, he either he kills the person... Or he kills 
someone precious in his family is it, it, beyond disgrace and exposed. God takes life when it comes to covered sins. So there are so many things we have done. Allow God. If see, who the Lord loveth, he chastiseth. If God wants to discipline you, let him discipline you. 